Hello, everybody, Minister Arm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 The Horse Lord Mega Campaign. In the last episode, we did some cross border raiding with the Byzantine Empire to get some money to build a castle, and we were able to accomplish that fairly well. In fact, when the Byzantines raised an army to try to contest us, we crushed it. So that's good for us, bad for the Byzantines. So, that went well. And we finally got a claim on this county right here and went ahead and took it so that it gives us total control of the Gulf of Finland. We're probably still going to push north a little bit further uh, to take probably these three counties here, uh, which we can do at our leisure. The critical, the critical part was to get the coastline along here so that the Gulf of Finland is ours. It's basically a giant harbor for us, so our boats will be able to move in and out of here without any trouble. Especially once we get, like, to Hearts of Iron. It'll be very important to control these seas. We're, we're probably want to control pretty much the entire coastline through here um, at some point once we get the Hearts of Iron. So, you know, those are going to be projects as we move forward. Alright, we still have a few counties to grab. We have a few counties to grab over here to get us out to the, to the Nipir River. Um, we might want to go for Minsk. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it all shakes out. But I think what we're going to do... Sooner rather than later It is To declare a holy war against these guys They have Fifteen and a half thousand troops I could potentially raise over fifty thousand troops so we have a significant advantage here, and the goal is going to be to obtain this Tangri Holy Site, which will give us the third Tangri Holy Site that we need to create the uh, head of the Tangri religion again. So that is what we're going after. So, let's go ahead and Fire that up. We're going to declare war. Uh, great conquest. I, mean, I could take the whole thing. I don't necessarily want the whole thing. Um, we'll probably do a holy war for that. And I'll have to decide if I want to keep all of it or if I want to just keep the one county. I'll have to decide on that, but let's go ahead and do it. Declare a war. Send. Yeah, let's go ahead and raise the entire army. Supply limit, supply limit. Let's go there. Raise the entire vassal levy. And let them gather. And what in the world just happened there? province of Roslava has finally seen the light with the majority of its inhabitants at last accepting your culture. This should make your realm easier to manage and better unify your people. Excellent. What are you doing? Defending against Khan, Kurthid nations and the Khanzarian Vulgar du jour holding war over 
Mosaic. Uh, over what? Are they defending? Yeah, they're defending. So you. Stop it. Excellent. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll keep doing change province culture. As you know that well know, I and those of our vassals are, who are part of my faction are your loyal subjects. They're going to give me additional Bolger vassal tax. Oh, oh, speaking of laws. Speaking of laws, we need to change some. We need to uh, increase women on the council to fully equal so that we get rid of the negative opinion modifiers for female rulers before our daughter takes over as empress. So go ahead and do that. Women may serve in all non-religious roles in the Rulers Council with the same rights as men, may lead armies as long as they possess martial training, and have access to succession laws which treat men and women equally. Things have changed enough in the realm that a female ruler or having a female heir is no longer considered a bad thing by one's vassals. Absolute cognitive succession law is now permitted, and all women may now hold all non-religious council offices. Yes, okay. All right, so we need to get the absolute cognatic gender law. We'll need to be at peace, and we'll need to make sure that nobody has any negative opinion on me. He's offering to pay a ransom of 25 gold. I'll take it. Speaking of gold, we need to pay back that loan. We need 500 gold to do it. What is the supply limit here? It's only 12,000. What's the supply limit here? Another 12,000. Alright, this army, I want to make sure this army gets commanders. I'm gonna send these 1400 troops that way as well. Might as well send those troops. I'm a bit concerned about this war you currently struggle with, and therefore I decided I would send you a small gift. Nothing much, just so you can hire more soldiers. Eight gold. Thanks. Thanks a lot. That'll really help. All right, let's repay that loan. Get that off the books. I hope their primary army hasn't shown up. We're the only war they're involved in, so we should be getting their full attention. Right, let's march some more troops into the vicinity. So that everybody is ready to back each other up when their army shows up. And there is the army. All right, we're gonna move everybody into to gather together.
on. Actually, one thing I wanted to do is change my focus to something that will give me health. Like maybe hunting. So I need to stay alive for a few more years so that... Was it this castle finishes building? 15th of January, uh, 1028. Does this have better... Yeah, it does. The world is a dangerous place and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are trying to kill my son. Alright. That's that's actually fine. As long as they don't kill my daughter. And people are conspiring to kill my daughter. Can I put you in hiding? Send into hiding, yes. Do it. So that's done being sieged. This isn't going to take many more of these sieges. There's a rage that strikes you sometimes. They say your ancestors were wolves, and maybe they are right. I gained the trait Wrath. I thought I already had Wrath. Victory, victory. Offer peace. They are surrendering and we accept their surrender. Let's start disbanding the armies. My food has tasted strange lately, and I've begun to eat less and less for fear of being poisoned. Uh, all right, we'll try to find the poisoner. All right, we need a, a new marshal. Uh, you want to be on the council, but your opinion's not that bad, so we'll go with someone else. Go with you. I want you to train troops. Worship the Ancestors, Duchy of Tver, yep, we need to find a character to hand this out to, so, typical thing, we're gonna go with men who are not in prison, who are not rulers, who are my religion and my culture, who are adults, who are not members of great houses, who have good stewardship. Typical thing. You're a pretty good ruler. All told. Grant you to land a title. That duchy. There we go. Send those troops home. Make sure the entire army is down. Good. Be completely sure the food was or was not poison. Chief Dis pick healthy. Required certain expensive equipment. Uh, yeah, 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 do it. Alright, so, let's go ahead and create the religious head. Yes. Alright, so, we are now High Priest of the Tangri Faith.
With the expensive equipment, uh, Chief Diff Pei Kelty did a thorough examination, and the cook had been using rancid meat in the stew again and covering it up with the taste of a lot of spices. Alright, good. I guess we can go ahead and worship the ancestors. So I had to visit the shrine and the holy. And these guys gave me a bunch of gold, that's fine. Uh, visit the shrine and the holy grove and make a sacrifice in honor of your ancestors. Uh, we want to go guide my sword in battle and let me conquer my enemies. We're going to go for that and we're going to sacrifice Gundas, a random courtier. <laughs> And what seems to be going on here? Kazaria? What you doing? Taking Basilius Matthios II to Byzantine Empire and Kazarian Holy War for Cherson. Which I believe... De jour... Cherson. De jour kingdoms. That's the wrong kingdom. Sometimes, man. It's not yours to take. Declare war. I can do great holy wars. Um, it'll cost me 2,981 prestige to break the truce. So that my vassal doesn't usurp territory that they're not supposed to. Hmm. That's over half my prestige. Alright. Fine. You can have it. My courtiers fear me. They fear my outbursts of anger whenever they disobey and disappoint me. Well, that is assuming, of course, that they can actually beat the Byzantines. That's not a guarantee. Dometa Nevelid has approached you with proposal to reform the regulations used to raise and train the Bulgar levies. His ideas have a great deal of support within the court, and though others say they have also a good chance of doing very wrong. Um. Sounds like an excellent idea. Go for it. Alright, we can change the laws to absolute cognatic. Gonna go ahead and do that. Marshal Kurt has suggested some interesting changes concerning how we train and equip our soldiers. He claims the idea came from a flash of inspiration. I am sure we have the ancestors to thank. We gain a hundred military tech points. While carrying out my duties for the Hermetic Society, I've met Initiate Emeric on several occasions. These encounters have and never ended well. One will be hard pressed to find a more unsympathetic character. I suspect he is spreading lies behind my back to damage my reputation. I will confront Emeric and reveal his dis dishonest ways to the world. Sure. The proposal might interest you. An old letter detailing the possible locations of some lost hermetic writings to come to my possession. Sure, we'll do that. 
The letter mentioned three lost texts, a tome in local anti antiquary, a scroll hidden in a temple in Kurzirn, and a tablet in the ancient library ruins of Karga in Abyssinia. The further we venture, the distance as well as into the past, the greater secrets you might uncover. Uh, I could spend the hundred gold. Well, let's just spend the forty gold. I don't want to spend too much of my money. At a festive outing in the wild, I found a message left amidst wildflowers addressed to my courtier, this person. Uh, the would-be lover, Turidin, is waiting for her by the nearby, by the stream near the camp. All right. What I was going to look at was those realm laws. Still 1054 before I can change that law. Lots of peasants have been moving to the county of Zizdal lately. Your steward, Turvel Talekid, uh, suggests building new roads in order to make it easier for the peasants to uh, reach the central holdings. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, what do we need to increase the level of the castle town? We need castle infrastructure level 6 or greater. We're not quite there yet. But that castle town can be improved. The bride we offered the shaman of Kurzern was enough to make him unlock the inner chambers of the temple. We examined every nook and cranny for clues of the scroll's hiding place. On the fifth day, one of the servants announced he had found a hidden chamber. Guess we'll let that go. Now, um, what could we do with you? Does your claim on Azov? Does your claim on Tana? Huh. I guess we can do the Dejour claim on Azov for now. Send that. Raise Durbant's troops. Raise Greater Perm's troops. You only got 200? You have 2,000. I all of a sudden can only raise 28,000 troops? I guess we'll send the retinue down as well. Fingers, hi, Chief. Oh, someone else was trying to go after that. Well. Kan Toku, the Sword of Tinkery, has created the Duchy of Churson. Okay, so he took it. Lord, we've finally taken Tana, and it appears that Kagan Kuther King may have family within. Though some may have gone into hiding. If they have, they may not be very easy to find. Imprison anyone of importance.
Alright, go ahead and build the fort there so that we can hold that. the fort crush their army we're separated from your men in the chaos about oh we're actually fighting here then you find yourself in the midst of war and as you scan the field and try to rejoin your forces you see why is all of a sudden this having tribal agitation this is irritating Man, the chaos of battle. Now you find yourself in the midst of war as you scan the field and try to rejoin your forces. See, High Chief of Wallachia, break the enemy ranks. Prepare to die. You are in. You scan it for any sign of weaknesses, opening his defenses. You could possibly swipe my injury, will not halt my strike. Can I get close to the strike? Eventually, he sees a weak spot and brings his weapon down. From great height upon you. Overwhelms your defense with a mighty blow, sends you sprawling to the ground. You look at him, tag above you, ready to deliver the finishing blow. I am not finished yet. We'll defend ourselves again. And we die. Well, that's great. I wasn't supposed to be leading troops in there. All right. Gatun Aten, a formidable duelist. We expect her to excel in tournaments and personal combat. All right. So be it. As your predecessor was able to construct enough holdings to reign a nomadic population. So now that's broken away. We need to come out of hiding. Do it. Alright. We need to have... Uh, kids. How old are we? 23? Character focus... We have zero diplomacy. I guess we'll do carousing for the diplomacy. Need a marshal, need a spy master. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting. I'm changing the spy master out for someone who actually likes us. Because having a spy master with a significant negative opinion is a big problem. I've recently come to possession of some manner of alchemical ingredients. While I admit I'm intrigued, the violet is faintly fragrant. Fragrant. I don't really mind keeping them around, but I guess. Castle infrastructure. We'll go for cavalry improvements. Siege equipment. Castle tax plus 25. Yeah, there we go. Increased local customs. Crown focus here. We need to become coronated. We have a peasant revolt.
No longer follow the Christian faith. What should be done? Oh, yeah. Keep it on display as a trinket. So where is this peasant revolt? There it is, right there. All right, we gotta get ourselves out of this war. We're high above the courtyard with court courtiers scurrying around looking like ants. I ordered my bow and arrow to be brought to me and started shooting at them, laughing at the panic and the looks they threw up at me. The next shot will be aimed low. Yes. One of my commanders has pretty successfully, significantly, ah, and the war is over. Offer peace. Enforce demands. Send the troops home. Why can I not be coronated? Have the uncrowned trait. Imperial coronation, there it is. We need to have piety of 25? Or negative 26? Prince. My half sister, and they have three hundred percent of my troops. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Okay. Is there anything that improves? Worship the ancestors. A spreading growth for the realm. Um, gain 60 piety. There we go. Alright, apparently we can't. Alright, now we can have the coronation. Everybody's going to show up. I 
Okay, everybody's trying to take advantage of this situation. Yeah, we can't do anything with the laws yet because we're not crowned. Is there any way that I can get some of these guys out of this faction? Attraction to ugly? That's 30 points? There's literally nothing I can do about that. Alright. We're going to be coronated. Coronation ceremony finished. Newly anointed high priestess. Alright, we're going to have the feast. It's only one evening. He's making caustic remarks about me. We have no mad agitation in Azov. Alright. Uh, for most of feast. The chief of Lower Volga act normally, or as normally as anyone can expect him to be, perhaps. Alright, he was escorted away. And now these guys want to fight. Why not? Some entertainment. Man, there's just nothing but trouble happening here. Mayor Paval of Arnavio managed to make quite a spectrum of himself at the coronation feast, dancing on the tables and carrying it on until finally he vomited on the floor in front of anyone. Everyone. Alright. So we're now officially crowned. I've come to you with some into some information to be maybe of use to you, namely that Khan Aranach has engineered a plot against your person. Be advised and act accordingly. We have like no chance of imprisoning these guys. Let's see, if I were to... We're getting kind of long here, but I want to see what I can do to try to mitigate some of this. Let's get you on the council. Vassals may no longer fight amongst each other. Do it. Does it not end their existing wars? We can tell Volga, make peace. Lose face to an owe me a comparable favor. Yes, that's fine. All right. I would have to do something like empowering the council and giving them war declaration power to try to prevent council members from being part of factions.
Let's see, can I... Throw a little money around here? In new court chaplain. Can I invite these guys to carousing? I think I'm in the middle of carousing anyway. All right, but I, I have to end the episode here. So, all right, it's down to 131.3%. That's a lot better than 399%. So, or 299%. Okay, so hopefully we can navigate this succession, uh, but we will work on that when we come back. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.